the key aspect of the plan was that it, was, it is a two-year plan. And that means that from April last year, we felt that it will take us two years to be able to be in a position to say that we have effectively addressed the big challenges that are facing our country with regards to electricity. Uh, the one thing that I can feed back to you around the engagements that we had with the different stakeholders that m all of them were not happy with the time. Everybody wanted us to come up with a three-month plan or a two-week plan. Uh, unfortunately, we were very clear that this is a massive task. It's going to require two years for us to, to address it. And they don't have to wait. The country does not have to wait until the end of the two years in order for the country to feel the impact of the plan. Uh, as we go along, people are going to start to see the difference. So uh, we are now one year in into that plan. As we had indicated at the time, that uh, by the beginning of April in 2024, what we, people of South Africa are going to be experiencing, they are going to be experiencing a EAF of around 65%, energy availability factor. We did not meet that. We're currently sitting with an EAF right now of 61%, which is slightly less than what we had targeted. But of course, you can see at that level, this is where we are now. What we are seeing is in line, very much in line with what we thought we would be experiencing at this time. While we are talking winter now, but we are keeping the eye as well to see we need to start preparing for the next summer as well from now. So the big forecast again in line with what the board has approved is the do before return which uh, we are pushing, the team is hard at work now after receiving that uh, generator to, to make sure that it returned by September. And then Gusilo Unit 5, I said it's already in doing, a, we are busy with the grid code test there. We plan to put it uh, in commercial operating during this winter. And then Gusilo Unit 6, synchronization, critical for for us to, to, to plan for the next summer and make sure as this peak of maintenance pick up again in summer, we have got these big machines coming through. And then lastly, uh, Quebec Unit 2 steam generator. We've taken a lot of lessons from the previous unit, so it's going much better. The team, we are expecting that that unit to come back around September compared to the end of towards no, to, to November for Unit 1. So. Those are all big machines that when they come back, uh, it will help us as well for the summer preparations as we move forward. I think Dan did touch on this one as well, but I would just want to, to do the comparisons as well in, a, in common base so that at least, because there has been a lot of uh, issues to say without load shading, there might be over usage of diesel and all of that, you, you will see that uh, if you take last year and this year, we, where we are with uh, the diesel, there is the numbers of the rent values there written uh, in blue, and then also what the EAF has been doing for the rest of the year, and then the chairman did touch on it because we monitor this week on week, that this week we have hit uh, above 61%. Obviously now we can also plan to do short-term maintenance as well. So, but the issue of hitting above 60, I mean, last year, this time we were still around 50%, 51. Uh, so, so there is a huge shift. And then you'll see the orange part there on top that talks to the uh, decrease in the, the unavailability. So, so that it answers this question to say what is causing the no load shedding now. You would see that clearly uh, week on week from March this year that the UCLF is going down and then the EAF uh, 
is starting to increase uh, from the last week of uh, March, and that's when we started to, to, to count uh, zero load shedding as well. So, so this combined with all the other uh, resources, not only diesel, because the, the things that the, the picking station is not only diesel, the picking station we still call the hydro, and then we still, uh, the, our palm storage is and all. So all of this put together, that's what the system operator is having to to prudently manage the system. So we've make a note there, if you look at April this year and April last year, we are half of that. I think that's what uh, the, the Dan spoke to as well in terms of the diesel. So, so it's been uh, utilized quite uh, prudently from the system operator, but mainly it's from the performance itself uh, as well, based on, on the recovery that we are busy with. 